Hello, YHS on Monster Island listeners. Jakey here. And if you watched us on Toy Anxiety or if you watched the last YHS on Monster Island, you know I have been talking about one of my recent pickups, a vintage 1967 Nomura Toys Super 8 cassette projector. It is truly one of the most unique pieces that I own. But on both of those shows, the question was asked, does it work? Now, this thing is in pretty great condition for being, you know, 50 plus years old. And even some of the innards, some of the actual, the cassette and everything are actually wrapped in plat the original plastic still, which is amazing. But does it work? So that's what we're going to test out today. I'm going to see, can I actually turn the crank and see some images of our favorite kaiju from, I believe, four or five different movies. They have, you know, a small, tiny, you know, eight second, nine second clip. Um, that is then there's a voiceover with a narrator that is separate. So we're going to see if all this works. Fingers crossed. I'm going to test it out right now. Let's uh, say a little prayer for me because I really hope this thing works because it looks perfect. So here we go. Let's try it out. And here it is. Here's the box that the Super 8 from Nomura Toys came in. It is a beautiful box, very vintage. Um, look how gorgeous that is. Now, I did already take out the um, the projector and the Super 8 just because, the cassette, excuse me, because this will act as our screen. So that's pretty cool. It's all kind of a, a all-in-one thing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so here's the projector itself. Everything was gorgeous. It was still wrapped. Um, some of the stuff, some of the innards here were even still wrapped in the original plastic, which is amazing. Um, all I did was added some 1.5 volt batteries here, and um, I placed the actual cassette uh, right in here, and that's it. Um, there already is a bulb in the machine. They did come with an extra, I believe, so we'll see if it works. Um, and then, yeah, the cassette came in here in this box and all of these uh, these eight films apparently are on it, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I didn't have much um, help from the instructions just because I don't read Japanese. And we'll go, we'll try it from here. So I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna see if it can work. Now, it also did come with this 33, this really cool um, piece of, of audio. Now, I know there's a way to sync it up. I'll try that in a second, but I just want to see if this bad boy right here actually works. Uh, fingers crossed that we can get this thing to work. So I'm going to turn the lights off here, and then I'm actually going to turn the main lights off here as well, and let's see what we can do. Okay, here we go. Now let's see if it works. There's Godzilla. Looks like he's battling Kamakras, their son of Godzilla. 1967 here. Look at that. That is pretty impressive. Wow, really cool. There's the big body slam. There you go, Kamakaris. Take that. Okay, and let's see. I'm, I guess this is a transition. No, uh, I don't know what that one was. There's Kamakaris flying. This is really cool. Let's see if I can project it even bigger here on uh, a white wall. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, now we're going to see if the audio track works. From what I've uh, heard and seen on a lot of these that have already been uploaded to YouTube, this is more of a narrator just kind of hyping up the film, very trailer-esque, uh, just really kind of talking through the scene. So we will see. Now, unfortunately, my cheap record player here, the needle's a little bit wonky. So um, knowing how flimsy this uh, 33 is, I'm a little nervous, but I will try to at least give a kind of feel of what type of audio you would be getting with the... Um, with the Super 8 video recording. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> There's some Godzilla roars there. Very cool, very cool. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed uh, and play the sync up the video and the audio right now. But at least the audio does work. I probably need to get a new um, record player here that will actually be able to play it a little bit more consistently, and where I don't have to hold it. But the good news is this bad boy works, um, and yeah, it'll be uh, hours of enjoyment for me 
uh, watching some of these really cool uh, videos from the Super 8 cassette, Nomura Toys, really cool, awesome stuff. Whew. It worked, everybody. It worked. Money well spent. That was really cool. I do need to upgrade my record player to make sure I can try to sync those things up, but I know everything is in working order. Whew. Thank goodness. I love this thing. I've seen them pop up every now and then, so keep your eyes peeled if you want one of these cool Super 8 projectors from Nomura Toys. Like I said, it is one of the coolest pieces that I own, and I'm so pumped that it works. So, hey, if you have a moment, go check us out at YHS on Monster Island. It's myself, the tattooed titan of tokusatsu, Mr. Jacob Walsh. We're talking kaiju movies, kaiju toys, kaiju fandom in general. Every other week on the Yes Have Some channel, we have the YouTube feed. But we also, on any of your major podcast services, you can listen to the audio only. It's really, really cool. And of course, check out all the other great Yes Have Some YHS properties, be it Toy Anxiety, Yes Have Some Prime, or the bad bitches, or any of those other great shows. We do appreciate it. Hit like, hit subscribe, and like I said, give us a listen. We really, really, really would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you next time. Adios. Adios.